Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the Neyman Fisher factorization theorem. It is given the linear model x of n is equal to the DC level A plus W of n, where n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. And the noise W of n follows a Gaussian distribution with mean 0 and variance equal to sigma square. Now, the goal of this problem is to prove that the statistic defined as T of x equal to the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n is a sufficient statistic for estimating the parameter a by using the Neyman Fisher factorization theorem. Based on the Neyman Fisher Based on the Neyman Fisher factorization theorem, if the PDF of the observations, that is P of x with the parameter, in this case a, can be written as a product of two functions, where the first one is g of t of x with the parameter a multiplied by another function h of x then if this condition is satisfied then t of x is a sufficient statistic. Note that the condition is g of t of x of a should be a function of the statistic t of x and h of x should be another function of the observations x. So, if the probability distribution can be factorized as a product of these two functions then t of x is clearly a sufficient statistic. So, for this model the probability distribution p of x the parameter a can be written as the product n equal to 0 to n minus 1 probability distribution of x of n with the parameter a. And from the model x of n equal to a plus w of n by using this model we know that the distribution of x of n is again a Gaussian distribution with mean equal to a and variance equal to sigma square. So, by using that information, we have the probability distribution of x with the parameter a is equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 exponential of minus the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus a whole square divided by 2 times sigma square. Now, by expanding the quadratic term in the exponent, we have 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 multiplied by exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 and then we have x square of n plus a square minus 2 times a times x of n. Upon further simplification we have 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n and the second term becomes plus n a square. The third one is minus 2 times a times t of x where t of x is the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n. That is the statistic for estimating the parameter a. So, we can clearly write the distribution as a product of two functions as follows. That is 1 by 2 by sigma square power n by 2 exponential of a into t of x by sigma square minus n into a square by 2 sigma square and then the next function is exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square sum n equal to 0 n minus 1 x of x square of n. Clearly, the first function is a function of t of x and the parameter a that is g of t of x and the parameter a. And the second function is clearly only a function of the observations x. So, it is h of x. So, the probability distribution p of x given a or p of x with the parameter a can be written as a product of two functions where the first one is clearly a function of the statistic and the parameter and h of x is a function of the observations. Therefore, t of x is a sufficient statistic for 
estimation of the unknown parameter a. That is based on the Neyman Fisher factorization theorem. We can clearly state that T of x defined as the sum of the observations is a sufficient statistic for the estimation of DC level in a linear model. Thanks for watching.